Hey guys, pharmacist Curtis Alexander. Let's talk about the effects of drinking coffee on testosterone levels. So we know there's one study that I found pretty useful and they took 42 fairly healthy adults, both men and women, and these were regular coffee drinkers. They were non-smokers, however, something to keep in mind, they were overweight. And again, there was only 42 of them, so not a big study, but they gave these folks five, six ounce cups of coffee every day, and they sp spread it out throughout the day. And the interesting part in the study, they gave them caffeinated coffee and then decaffeinated coffee, and they switched the groups. And what they found was that at four weeks out, the men in the group did experience an increase in total testosterone. There was also a slight increase in free testosterone, uh, but not big. There was also a decrease in total and free estradiol, so their estrogen levels were going down. This was in the men with the caffeinated coffee, so that was promising. In the women, interestingly, they saw total te or excuse me, total and free testosterone go down when they drank decaffeinated coffee, and when they drank caffeinated, it decreased total testosterone. At the end of the day. What they also found is that if they continued the study out into eight weeks, this is the interesting part, is that the levels in both the men and the women, testosterone, estrogen, all those sex hormones, kind of settled back into their baseline level. So for example, free testosterone in the men in the caffeinated group went from 387 at the start of the study to 546, which is a big jump at week four, and then by week eight, it was back down to 403. So a slight increase, but it does seem over time, yes, we see a bump in testosterone, then it will eventually kind of come back to a baseline. At least that's what we have seen from this particular study, which is the best one I think that's out there. Anecdotally, you will come across people who've tested this out and have said very similar things. Yeah, there was a bump and then it kind of leveled out overall a net positive. Um, so I think that's kind of the takeaway and some other takeaways in my opinion. I don't hang a lot of weight on the study. It was a small study, not huge, and they included overweight people. So was there weight loss during this period? If they lose weight, if they lose that body fat, testosterone will naturally come up. So was it attributed to that? And these folks were drinking a lot of coffee. I wouldn't recommend drinking that much coffee, but that's what they were doing in the study. The positive things to me, um, overall, I feel that, that drinking coffee is a positive thing. I prefer to stay much more on the lower end. I don't want to drink anywhere near that amount. Um, and coffee has a lot of good compounds in it. It's not just about the caffeine. Um, that's contained in it. Speaking of which, I'm gonna do a separate video on the effects of caffeine in general on testosterone, because there are some differences. When we say coffee, uh, coffee has different effects on testosterone usually than caffeine does, but another video for another time. So let me know in the comments if you've had your testosterone measured, if you, you're a coffee drinker, if you notice a difference. Uh, I find your guys' feedback very interesting. So do other people who watch the video. So hope this was helpful, guys. See you in the next one. Thanks.